Hello everyone. Guess what? I am the proud grandma of another grandbaby. And the prayers worked. Yes, the encouragement worked. And baby and mom decided decided on their own, right? Yes, and she did not need to be induced. So, quick labor too, couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> just like her mother. Okay. Let's just get going here. I got things to do now. I'm so happy. I'm just jumping around. I feel physically like reborn or something. It's interesting. <laughs> I'm not in pain or nothing. Amazing. Okay. So we are in the book of Ezra 8. Let's just get going. I got things to do now. <coughs> Ezra's journey from Babylonia to Palestine. So is it odd how they're broken up here a little bit? And we continue. These with their genealogies were the heads of families who set out from Babylon with me in the reign of King Artaxes. I'm assuming that's Ezra talking here now. I think. <sighs> I'm so excited. I can hardly hide it. <laughs> Not much else in my mind right now. Or heart. Of the sons of Phinehas, Gershom of the sons of Ithamar, Daniel of the sons of David, Hattush son of Shechaniah, of the sons of Parash, Zechariah, and with him a hundred and fifty males officially registered of the sons of Pahat, Moab, Elioenai, son of Serahiah, and with him 200 males. Of the sons of Zadu, Shechaniah, son of Yahaziel, and with him 300 males. Of the sons of Adin, Ebed, son of jo Jonathan, and with him 50 males. Of the sons of Elam, Yeshaya, son of Atalia, and with him 70 males. <laughs> 70 males. Of the sons of Shepatiah, Sepatiah, son of Michael, and with him 80 males. Of the son of Joab, Abadiah, son of Yehiel, and with him 218 males. Of the sons of Bani, Shelomit, son of Yosipiah, 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 and with him 160 males. Of the sons of Bebai, Zechariah, son of Bebai, and, and with him 28 males. Of the sons of Asgad, oh, thank you for the breeze. Yohanan, son of Hakatan, and with him 110 males. Of the sons of Adonikam, the younger sons, whose names are Elipelet, Yeyel, and Shemaiah, and with them 60 males. And of the sons of Bigvai, Utai, son of Sabud, and with him 70 males. Mm, is this the second kind of time where exiles are going back to Jerusalem? Or is this the same one again? Why tell me this twice? I don't think they're the same ones. I am not going back to check. Don't feel like it. Don't feel like I need to. It is what it is. I assembled them near the canal, which runs to Ahava, where we camped for three days. I noticed laymen and priests, but I could not discover any Levites there. But what? Who were the laymen and the priests then? Weren't they Levites? I then sent for Eliezer, Ariel, Shemaiah, Elnathan, Yarib, Elnathan, again, Nahan, Zechariah, and Meshulam, judicious men, and sent them to Edo, the leading men of a place called Cassiphia. Cassipia. A P and an H uh, sounds like an F in German, so I wonder if... Uh, how to say that right. I told them what they were to say to Edo and his kinsmen, living at the place called Cassipia, that is, to provide us with people. So it's a pretty name. I like it. I knew how to say it right. Provide us with people to serve the temple of our God. Mm, aren't the priests supposed to do that? The layman? That's not enough? Ah. And because the hand of God was good to us, they sent us a wise man, man of the sons of Mali, 
son of Levi, son of Levi, son of Israel, a certain Sherebiah with his sons and kinsmen, 18 men. Oh, they're men now, not males. Okay. Also, Hashabiah, and with him his brother, Yeshia of the sons of Merari with his kinsmen. Oh, Merari again. And sons, 20 men. And 220 temple slaves, descendants of the temple slaves whom David and the princes had assigned to serve the Levites, all of them designated by name. So they're, if they're assigned to serve the Levites, they're not Levites? Well, that's really confusing what's going on here. There, beside the Ahava Canal, canal, I then proclaimed a fast to humble ourselves before our God and to pray to him for a successful journey for us. You're going to fast just before you start walking. That makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Ah, just saying, I mean, it's, it's a good thing. Oh, thank you for the breeze. Our dependence and all our belongings. For I should have been ashamed to ask the king for a company of cavalry to protect us from hostile people on our road. As we had already said to the king, the hand of our God is all over all who seek him for their protection. But his mighty retribution befalls all those who forsake him. So we fasted and pleaded with our God about this, and he heard us. I next chose twelve of the leading priests, and also Sherebiah and Hushabiah with ten of their kinsmen. To them I weighed out the silver, the gold, and the utensils, the contributions which the king, his counselors, his notables, and all the Israelites there present, present had made for the temple of our God. To them I weighed out and handed over 650 talents of silver, 100 utensils of silver, valued at two talents, 100 talents of gold, 20 golden bowls, valued at a thousand derricks, and two utensils of fine burnished copper, as precious as gold. Wait a minute. Why did he choose 20 priests? Uh, 12. And 10 of their kinsmen. So that's 22. Why would he divide up all this stuff instead of just... And give it to them. They were all supposed to carry it. Oh. Oh, I see, because I didn't have chariots, isn't it? so it needed to be uh, handed out so everybody could carry it. Okay, all right, all right. I, that, I'm assuming that's what it is. I said to them, you are consecrated to Yahweh. These utensils are consecrated to the silver and gold are a voluntary offering to Yahweh, God of our ancestors. Guard them carefully until you weigh them out at the leading priests, the Levites and the heads of families of Israel in Jerusalem in the rooms of the temple of Yahweh. Uh, I must, uh, uh, hmm, weigh them out? What does that mean? Exactly. The priests and Levites then took charge of the silver, the golden the utensils thus weighed, to bring them to Jerusalem, to the temple of our God. Oh, so make sure that you bring what I gave you. Okay. On the twelfth day of the first month, we left the Ahava Canal to make our way to Jerusalem. This is kind of neat. This reads like a story of someone that was there and wrote it down and gave us the kind of what they did. That's On the twelfth day of the first month, we left the Ahava Canal. To make our way to Jerusalem, the hand of our God was over us and protected us from enemies and surprise attacks on our way. When we arrived in Jerusalem, we rested for three days. On the fourth day, the silver, the gold, and the utensils were weighed in the temple of our God and handed over to the priest Merimot, son of Uriah, and with him Eleazar, son of Peneas. With them were the Levites, Yosabot, son of Yeshua, and Noadiah, son of Binui. By number and weight, all was there. The total weight was recorded at the same time. Wow, that's amazing. When the exiles arrived from their captivity, they offered burnt offerings to the God of Israel, 12 bulls on behalf of all Israel, 96 rams, 72 lambs, and as a sin offering, 12 he goats. The whole of this as a burnt offering to Yahweh. 
They also delivered the king's instructions to the king's satraps and the governors of Trans-Euphrates, who then supported the people and the temple of God. And that is that. Well, that sounds good. That sounds kind of, that sounds like a recount of someone that, okay. Uh, I feel like it's the first time we kind of read this as a actual, it's, it's a, not handed over to someone else to write that this is the person who was there, wrote it down, and we're being given to us as it was written down. I like it. That's nice. Ooh, the next one sounds odd again. Uh, that's tomorrow. All right, that's it today. Ezra's journey from Babylonia to Palestine. Interesting. Oh, what a day. May 16th, 2024. Love, love, love it. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Parent. Thank you, Spirit World. Thank you to all who sent prayers for the delivery, for Mama, for the baby, for Daddy. Yes? All went well. Everyone is healthy, recuperating. What a joyful day absolutely joyful day this is within my family right yes mm. and the day is uh it's a it's a beautiful day. The sun here and there peeks out, but it's literally it it it's a cloudy sky. Yep, there's a little blue skipping through. And the the sky, the whole sky is white. It's not gray with rain clouds, it's white. The whole sky, whatever I can see, it's white. With uh with white clouds, all of it. All white. And then the beautiful green, there's more blue, the sun trying to peek through. And one can tell in, on how to, oh, there's one little cloud that's a little darker. So we're going to get some rain, which is great. But otherwise, it's just, it's an amazing white sky. Beautiful. It's, it's, a, it's a very serene here right now. Very uh. welcome to this world, little one. All right, that's it. That's all I have to say today. I really, I can't quite. I'm too euphoric. <laughs> My mind is filled with baby thoughts my daughter and the baby ah just so so grateful may heavenly parent bless you protect you embrace you with love and i will talk to y'all tomorrow